Uh, just a quick update, uh, Jonathan Bullard, um, just illness. He uh, was under the weather this morning. He's feeling better and better as the day goes on. Uh, hoping to have him this weekend. We guys, we'll keep you guys updated on his status. And Jalen Naylor will go into the game with no injury designation after a full week of practice. So feel good about where we're at from a health standpoint. Can't say enough about our uh, sports performance and, and health staff keeping, uh, keeping our guys fresh and ready to roll uh, coming off the bye. Kevin, when it comes to the health element of it, I mean, do you kind of go back to preseason, uh, even OTAs, kind of the way you handled those things? Do you, do you kind of see that cumulative effect as you've gone along to the health? It really goes into everything. I'm glad you mentioned OTAs and training camp, and everything's done with a purpose and a plan of the expectation having our guys healthy. Uh, they've done their part. That's a big part of it, too. We can set the table and and, and give them a plan of attack of how we want to go about each day to make sure that we're always feeling like we get the work in that we need to, uh, but that we've got a fresh football team. And, and then ultimately those guys can go out and play fast and, and attack whatever challenges uh, like a really good football team that we're going to face this weekend uh, that we're going to get. So it's about taking care of the things that we can control and uh, then the players doing their part and understanding how it all fits together. Kevin, uh, Jerry Smith obviously coming off a very good game against Miami. Just talk about how he's playing and if he's really kind of settling into a groove maybe for you. Yeah, I think he really has. And he's been pretty darn good all year long. He dealt with, uh, kind of played through some some kind of nagging things for a couple weeks there. But but uh, like Z always does, continues to just show up every single day. Uh, preparation's been great. And then he's one of our, you know, real leaders when we get to, we get to the game. Setting the tone from a physicality standpoint, plays every snap. Um, a thousand miles an hour and, and within the confines of our defense. We'll continue to find ways to let Z impact the game, and I think he's doing a great job. How does Arizona speed in the middle of the two linebacker spots and Buda Baker really affect how teams can attack? Yeah, they've got, when you, you turn on the tape, they fly around, and the way they use Isaiah Simmons and Buda and, and, and really the whole inter, in, internal part of the defense, like you said, uh, speed jumps out at you, and then the effort. I think this team does a great job attacking the football as well. We got to be great when we got the ball in our hands, uh, trying to limit any kind of plays we can give away a possession to these guys because they're really well coached. Uh, have a lot of respect for this defensive coaching staff. Not only the scheme, which is a challenge in itself, uh, but how they play, and, and you can tell it's really emphasized. Yeah, and the fact that this is, I suppose, the fourth time you've been preparing for the Cardinals in the last. Yeah. 18 mile, year and a half, whatever it is. Does that give you anything just in, as opposed to an NFC West team you wouldn't see that much otherwise? I think uh, I, I think what I have is just an inventory of, of just knowing how, how, how good they can be when they put it all together like they did against the Saints and can turn the ball over, uh, really be complimentary with both sides and special teams. Uh, I treat each, each game as its own, uh, try to take whatever we can uh, you know, over the past couple of years for me, but teams change so much, schemes change. You know, we're different than uh, ultimately what we were in LA in a lot of ways. Our, our personnel, um, our schemes kind of evolved as we've we've moved along here. And uh, but I, I definitely it starts with Cliff and and knowing the the great roster they've put together there. I know what the challenge is, especially uh, when they do get it going. And and I feel like that's exactly where they are right now. So uh, going to be a very competitive, tough fought game. Uh, is the expectation our guys are, you know, have really uh, gone about this week in the right way, preparation-wise, coming off the bye. But we know they're coming off of a mini bye, uh, so should be two fresh, you know, pretty healthy football teams on Sunday. Kevin, uh, it's kind of random, but do you think you'll ever work to try to get Kane Nwangu involved in the offense? Do you just want him working on special teams at this point, or what do you think? Yeah, he's always ready to go. Um, I think from day one, uh, his skill set, obviously, what he shows up uh, as our kick returner. Uh, real way to impact the game there, but you just over the course. I tell a lot of our guys uh, that we spend a lot of time into pouring into, you know, from a depth standpoint. Tell all those guys that uh, you just never know when it could be your game for either targets as a receiver, uh, touches as a running back. You know, defensively, when we, when your number is going to get called, uh, there's no second chances when that comes around. Uh, we want to be ready to go and and make sure we keep our entire roster ready to go. And Kane's one of those guys. He's got an incredibly bright future. Uh, with us and, and just continuing to find ways uh, to, to keep him ready to go when, you know, if uh, Dalvin or Alex need a, need a blow. Would it need to be in that situation where one of them need a blow, or do you think there could be a time when you would use him for his own 
skills or package or whatever? Yeah, I think, Kevin, it's still pretty early in my mind in the season, six games in, where I, there's still so much that we want to see Dalvin do and Alexander and, and really giving them opportunities as well. But that doesn't take anything away from Kene. Um, and, and I think you'll see him, especially as the season goes on. It's a long year and, and making sure that, uh, you know, I'm doing my job using all of the guys uh, that we have to really be, you know, weapons in our system. Kevin, now that you've coached a few games at uh, U.S. Bank Stadium, just uh, what what is the impact of, of that, the noise and just that place on, on opposing teams? I just the the thing that just jumps out at me always is just the energy, um, and that energy and, and and the feel of the crowd from the time we come out for warmups to the time we get to go in after what has been a really successful start, you know, of our home slate. Uh, I think our team feeds off of it. I know the guys that have played here a long time. Uh, they try to set the tone with our younger players of just uh, embrace it, embrace how special of an opportunity it is to play in front of our great fans in, in that type of environment. Um, and then ultimately, you know, the things you learn about uh, for our defense, you know, the communication, the, the things that go into it. We know it's hard for the offense, obviously, and, and that's been a real edge for us. Uh, but we got to be great and try to mimic that noise uh, that our fans do provide for our defense and make sure all the checks all the, the things as part of our system to make sure we're in the premier look defensively for all the things we're going to see. That requires some elite communication where you're not always able to hear each other out there. So uh, we're constantly trying to rep that thing and, and make sure our guys are ready to go. But I would never, ever uh, want to uh, you know, not have that effort from our fans. They've been special. And, and hopefully, we can keep giving them reasons to provide that atmosphere. And, uh, apologize, apologize if I haven't noticed before, but the gritty hoodie, is that a regular part of the wardrobe or uh, the one you're wearing now? Or Thank you for calling attention to that because uh, I'll probably get in trouble for wearing it in somehow, some way. But, uh, but yeah, we, uh, we've, got, uh, you know, we've got some superstars with their own clothing lines around here, um, and it's not just JJ. So I try to be supportive of the guys. As I tell them, you know, I'm a big fan of free gear. So if it shows up on my desk, I'm going to try to find a way to wear it. Uh, maybe not always at the press conferences, but uh, like I said, I appreciate you calling me out for it. Did you want to throw out the 800 number on where how people can order? <laughs> uh, not today. Not today. We call this Fast Friday for a reason. Is this the uh, Belichick influence, kind of doing what you want with the clothing? Uh, I don't. Uh, uh, my wife will tell you I don't. I'm not allowed to do anything that I want with my clothing because I don't uh, have that trust level from her quite yet. So. Um, I'll continue to make sure I evaluate my choices on a daily basis, especially the days I get to talk to you guys. <laughs> Thanks, guys.